Hi, my name is Samson Rawire. I'm the Director of Graduate Studies, Research and Innovations of the Sitama University. I'm also an Associate Professor of Materials Engineering in the Department of Polymer Textile and Industrial Engineering of the Sitama University. Before I returned to Uganda, I was developing aerospace materials, and this is carbon fiber reinforced plastics and glass fiber reinforced plastics. Uh, these materials were for aircrafts, especially for companies like Airbus, Eurocopter, and Boeing, to mention but a few. So when I returned home, <clears throat> I thought of what can I use the aerospace knowledge, the one I had in training in at master's degree level, and then use the local materials which are available for me in Uganda. And that's how I thought of nano-inspired materials based on the local market or on the local aspect. And if we are thinking of innovation, it tends to move very slowly. But if we think of sustainable development goals, specifically SDG number 11, sustainable cities, then that means that in one out of two people, we live in cities by 2030. And by 2030, Africa will have 1.6 billion people. And in that particular aspect, there will be a need of sustainable cities and communities. And that is where we think about the materials we are going to use. We have been developing nano-inspired materials based on the nanotechnology and uh, they've been uh, applied in the industry, for example, in roads or in the health sector or any other industries. Specifically for roads, we looked at our roads, especially which we have here in Uganda, and one of the challenges we have is that the roads, when not sustainable enough, they don't last longer. And that's why we thought of coming up with a solution. And one of the solutions was using biomass. If you look at biomass, we can get lignin and convert it into nanophase, nanolignin. And uh, this lignin, it acts as a cross-linker for one of the other problems which we have been having in the community of waste plastics. Because there are very many plastics in the environment and they are affecting the environment. So we thought that we can remove the plastics from the environment and use nanolignin as a cross-linker and then we use it as a binder in road construction. Because one of the challenges is that in road construction is that the bitumen is imported into the country and it also increases the cost of road construction. So if we use plastics and nanolignin to bind, use it as a binder, that means we can construct roads with less bitumen and then the roads themselves will be durable for a long period of time because they'll be water resistant and they will also the lifespan will increase there will be pothole three and uh, one another challenge when we look at uganda we produce a lot of food but 20 to 30 percent of the food which is produced globally goes to waste because it is dumped or it gets rotten but if we get the food materials themselves and then convert the food into nanocellulose then we can produce sustainable packaging materials for packaging food and in that particular aspect for example you can use the particular packaging to wrap your food and in incorporating biosensors still from the environment not chemicals and then it can be able to show the consumer whether the food is good for consumption or it's not good for consumption but Africa as a continent cannot be left behind we don't want to be left behind in terms for example in GMO best products which are produced in particular countries and then other countries don't have policy. We want to look at nanotechnology or nano-inspired products which can be used for sustainable development of communities and countries specifically in Africa whereby if we have a binding policy uh, we can bring African scientists together in terms of research and development. It can help us as developing new materials for sustainable communities. And this policy, we cannot leave it out because the policy will help us as scientists to come up with new materials. And we think that nano-inspired products can be used for cancer treatment, for example, in terms of drug delivery, can be used in road construction, can be used for food packaging, and the future is bright with nanotechnology using local best materials. And I believe African scientists are going to take this as important for the development of the continent and come 2030 when we have sustainable cities and communities, nanotechnology will play a vital role. Thank you very much.